بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. Um, so in today's uh, reminder, I want to share with you some reflections on verse number 12 from Surah Al-A'raf. Uh, Sheikh Abdul Ghaffar he recited in the first rak'ah of Salat Al-Isha, where Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala He says. قَالَ مَا مَنَعَكَ أَلَّا تَسْجُدَ إِذْ أَمَرْتُكَ قَالَ أَنَا خَيْرٌ مِّنْهِ خَلَقَتَنِي مِنْ نَارٍ وَخَلَقَتَهُ مِنْ دِينٍ In this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains the response of Iblis when Iblis was asked, what prevented you from prostrating? In verse number 11, the verse which precedes this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains to us that He created you and I he uh, shaped you and I, we are who we are today because of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that we commanded the angels to prostrate to Adam and they all prostrated except Iblis, Iblis was with them, he wasn't from the angels but he didn't prostrate so in verse 12 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shares with us the reason Iblis says I didn't prostrate and he says Ana khayrun min the response that Iblis gave is that I am better than him. I'm better than Adam السلام, And here we find that Iblis refused to fulfill the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He disobeyed Allah. He refused to, to prostrate when he was commanded to prostrate. And he displayed arrogance and pride. Arrogance in that I'm better than him. Why should I bow down to him? And what's interesting is he goes on to say خَلَقَتَنِي مِنْ نَارِ he, he acknowledges that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created him. He acknowledges that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator. So he knows that Allah is the creator. He used to be one who worshipped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But when this command came, he refused to obey the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because he believed that his origin was better than Adam alayhi salam. You created me from fire and you created him from clay. He believed that Adam السلام, was lower than him. Why should I bow down and prostrate to somebody who's lower than me? I'm more honored than him. I have more virtue than him. This was the attitude of Iblis. And is this not a trait that we see today, my dear brothers and sisters? When we read these ayat, we must reflect on ourselves. Do we also display this trait where we think we are better than others? Whether it's because of our wealth, whether it's because of our position, whether it's because of our family, whatever it may be. Do we follow in the same footsteps of Iblis? The Prophet والسلام, he told us about how destructive pride is. He said in the hadith, لا يدخل الجنة من كان في قلبه مثقال ذرة من كبر. He said a person will not enter Jannah. Jannah is what each and every one of us is striving for. A person will not enter Jannah. That one who has a mustard, uh, atom's weight, sorry, of pride in his heart. An atom's weight of pride in his heart. That person will not enter into Jannah. A man, the hadith goes on, this is a hadith in Sahih Muslim. He said that, Inna rajul yuhibba an yakun thawbahu hasanan wa na'lahu hasana. That a person loves for his thawb to be beautiful. He loves for to, to, to wear nice clothes, to wear nice shoes. And then the Prophet because he was thinking, is this pride? If you're having nice things. And the Prophet said what? Inna Allah jameelun yuhibbul jamal. Allah is beautiful and he loves beauty. Yes? And then he defined kibr. He said, what is kibr? He said, batarul haq wa ghamtun nas. He said, it's to deny the truth and to look down upon the people. This is kibar, this is arrogance, this is pride. Is when you deny the truth, i.e. you deny Allah. You deny Allah as, as the creator, as the one who deserves to be worshipped. You do not worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You do not recognize Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is where you're denying the truth, the ultimate truth of Allah, who's the one worthy of our worship. And secondly, ghamtun nas, where you look down upon the people. You think you're better than the people. And this manifests itself in many ways. Imam Ghazali rahimullah, he said that how is it that uh, pride manifests itself in people? He said often it can be those who are practicing, those who are worshipping. When we see somebody who maybe is sinning or maybe isn't fulfilling the obligations, we start to think that we're better than that person. 
Yes, somebody might be failing in their obligation of hijab and sisters look down upon that sister. I'm better than this sister, you look down. You might see a brother who's doing a particular sin openly and you start to think you're better than that person. He, Imam Ghazali is saying this is one of the ways that kibar manifests itself. Yes, just because somebody is sinning differently to you does not mean that you are better than that person. So never think you're above somebody else. Never think you're better than somebody else. You don't know where somebody will end up. How many people have we seen that maybe were committing the worst of sins? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives them hidayah, gives them guidance and become the best of Muslims. Look at Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anh, the one who was on his way to kill the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He what? He accepts Islam and becomes the second Khalifa and the one that the Prophet alayhi salatu wa gives the glad tidings of Jannah to. You don't know where somebody will end up. Imam Ghazali, he goes on, he says sometimes family and lineage. A person comes from a certain tribe or a background and they think they're better than others. And we see this in the Asian culture, the caste system. People from certain castes, they look down upon others from different castes. We're better than this, these people, they're lower than us. They're, they're from the low class tribe, the low, uh, low class caste. Yes. This is a manifestation of kibbutz, of pride, where you start to think you're better than somebody just because of their background. He also mentioned wealth. Wealth, of course, Allah describes as a fitna. Wealth, you can do a lot of good with wealth, but wealth can also be a cause of destruction. When you let that wealth settle into your heart and then the things that you have, Allah has blessed you with, you think because of them you're better than another person. You look down upon another person who maybe doesn't have as much as you. You think they're lower in status than you. This is a manifestation of pride, Imam Ghazali rahimahullah is saying. My dear brothers and sisters, we have to be very careful with these diseases of the heart. Pride is one of the diseases of the heart that can ruin the heart. One of the, the Salaf would say that whenever we would see somebody who is older than us, we would think that this person is better than us. Why? Because this person's had more time to do good. Anyone older, this person is better than me. Why? Because they've had more time to do good. Anyone younger, this person is better than me. Why? Because they've got less time to sin. Everybody, they would see themselves as, I'm nothing, I'm nobody. And in front of Allah, may Allah just accept a little bit what I do. But I'm nobody. I'm not better than anybody else. You know, Ali. Ali, of course, is uh, you know, the fourth Khalifa. Ali, عنه, one of those who have been granted Jannah. Just look at these Khulafa, how simple and how easy they were. They were given the glad tidings of Jannah, but they were the humblest of people. They were the humblest of people. Ali radiallahu anhu, he was once asked, who is better, you or Abu Bakr? He said, Abu Bakr. He said, who is better, you or Umar? He said, Umar. He said, what, what rank do you have? Ali says, I'm just a Muslim amongst the Muslims. I'm nothing special. This is the attitude that we must develop, my dear brothers and sisters. Humility. Never thinking we're better than another person. Just because of that person might be doing X, Y, and Z. Always ask Allah to forgive us and forgive them. Always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our deeds. It could be because of your arrogance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removes all the good that you did. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for protection. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from those who are sincere to Him.